Hey there riders, Motojourno Chris here, and interesting news out of Triumph with the Speed Triple RR revealed in all its glory. Nope, I didn't misspeak. As the RR suggests, this is a racier version, and let's be honest, it's a total departure from the fairly traditional Speed Triple brand, as we know it when it comes to looks. In fact, the first glimpse had me thinking this would be something along the lines of a modern Thruxton Cafe racer. It's not sporty enough for the Daytona Monica without full fairings, but does offer more aggressive ergos in that direction. Retro and neo-retro styling is certainly a popular area these days, so it makes sense to take advantage. And while I can't say the bike really jumps out at me as a speed triple, with the facelift, it certainly does look pretty cool. Plus, the bike's kitted out in some impressive parts alongside some tasty details, ensuring it'll keep the discerning rider happy, which is certainly the target audience. Apparently, these are due to arrive in Australia in December, with the UK and US arrival looking like January 2022. Pricing for the US is 20,950 MSRP, while in the UK, the RR will start at £17,950 for the white version, adding a further £250 for the red, which is almost a £3,000 premium on top of the previous top of the line RS. In Australia, that's 32490 for the white and an additional 400 Australian dollars for the red, although our pricing is right away, so that's an out the door price. So what's on offer? Well, it starts with the 1160cc triple cylinder from the RS, pumping out an impressive 180 ponies alongside 125 newton meters of torque, and you can guarantee that unique triple soundtrack to accompany it. The exhaust is well integrated into the overall look, but it is a hefty unit. Other points of note are a stacked six-speed gearbox, slip and assist clutch, and ride-by-wire throttle. The chassis has undergone constant evolution over the years, delivering considerable dividends with the existing aluminium twin spar frame and bolt-on subframe joined by the iconic single-eyed swing arm in the same material. Eye-catching is the fitment of a full set of Olin Smart EC2 or electronically controlled semi-active suspension, promising high performance alongside great ease of use. Seat height is 830mm, which is fairly middle of the road I'd say for a sports bike, with all new clip-on handlebars, offering a 135mm lower and 50mm more forward position than the RS, for a more aggressive overall stance. Foot pegs are likewise positioned specifically for this model variant. So it's fair to say this isn't just a Speed Triple RS with some different fancy bodywork thrown on, this machine will offer a different ride experience as well, but it is worth mentioning the RS and RR share the same rake and trail, although there is a very small difference in the wheelbase. Brembo provide the braking package, starting with Stolima 4-piston calipers and 320mm floating discs, with a Brembo 2-piston caliper on the rear matched to a 220mm rotor. Interestingly, this is a linked braking system which incorporates cornering ABS. Brembo also provide the front radial brake master cylinder and lever setup, as well as that rear unit. Wheels are cast aluminium 17 inch items and seem to be the same wheels that we see fitted to the RS from what I can tell, but will be clad in Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SP V3 rubber. Naturally, electronics are extensive, starting with a 5.5 inch TFT display to access the five ride modes, one of which is fully customizable, alongside cornering traction control with front wheel lift detect, a standard up and down quick shifter, keyless system, not just for the ignition, but also for the steering and fuel tank, as well as cruise control. All up, the Speed Triple RR weighs in at 199 kilos with a 15.5 litre fuel tank, and it's worth mentioning that's only one kilogram more than the RS with both claimed figures, of course. Servicing is also 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers or every 12 months for those who don't get out much. Fuel consumption is stated as 6.3 liters per 100 kilometers, which will probably leaving you looking to refuel at about 200 kilometers with 250 kilometer range really kind of pushing it. The devil is of course in the details though, as they say, and there's plenty to admire here. With full LED lighting all round, including self-cancelling indicators and a very tasty tail light. Backlit switch cubes offer control of the various electronics too and are a pretty cool item, while a smattering of carbon fibre is very much welcome and in keeping with the top spec model. That carbon fibre is found on the front guard and radiator surrounds as well as on the front fairing underwing with a fill panel also seen under the tank. 
That's a particularly nice touch as I had to buy under tank panels for my Daytona 67R and carbon fiber for a similar effect, but it's one that really stands out. As already mentioned, the exhaust is nicely integrated, but there's no doubt a heap of collector running along the belly of the bike with it being Euro 5 compliant. Two paint schemes will be available with high quality candy paint in either Red Hopper or Storm Grey, which is the white color scheme, with the red definitely being the pick of the two for me. Apparently standard with the bike is a color coded seat cowl and belly pan with the latter seen in some of the images. I'm assuming the gray black belly pan seen in most of the pictures is what they're mentioning there as I haven't seen anything with the red or white matched paint on it. As mentioned, the Triumph Speed Triple RR will arrive in the USA in January 2022 for 20,950 MSRP, in the UK in January starting from 17,950 pounds, and here in Australia in December of 2021 from 32,490 right away. I'll admit I'm a little disappointed we haven't seen a mainstream Daytona option personally, as opposed to a special edition like the Moto2. However, it's clear this particular machine really wouldn't fit the bill there, so it's probably good they didn't try and shoehorn it in. It seems likely we might even see an RR for the street triple line if this model goes well, although pricing is well and truly on the steep end of the spectrum, which may just be part of Triumph's focus on premium machines. Personally, the iconic Triumph Speed Triple in my mind will remain the 2008 model with the blacked out engine and frame, orange paint and double round headlights, but that's probably just because I owned one and it was a real dream bike for me. However, the RR is a cool addition to the family. So let me know what you think of this new model in the comments and as always, stay safe out there and thanks for watching.